Hello and welcome to our how-to video on launching a new project in Mission Control. Within Mission Control, there are many different ways you can create a new project. For example, you can create a new project from scratch or you can clone from an existing project template. You're also able to auto-generate new projects from the opportunity or the project request objects. Or you could simply create a project record and then use a milestone loader to load in uh, required milestones from different projects. You're also able to build out the entire project plan directly on the can chart. In this video, we're going to be walking through the most efficient way to create a brand new project from scratch. To do this, we'll be using the project launch preserved on the launch pad of the control pad, along with the create milestones and the create action stages on the project record. Let's jump in and get started. The project launch wizard can be accessed from the launch pad under the mission control console using the new project button from here. So let's say that I've got a project coming up that I need to work on, a website build, and I need to create a project for it. Um, so I can do that from here. So let's fill out those, some of those details here. So now that I've added in some details and added in a few milestones, uh, we're going to go on to editing the project to add some more details. So now the project record has been created. We have three milestones. We can edit the project and add some more details. The project owner field references the role record. So you need to make sure the role record has been created for, uh, for a value to show up over here. Now that I've added in all the details I need, I can just click save. And now we'll go on to uh, creating actions and ass assigning uh, users to, uh, to those actions. We have a create actions page that you can access. And you just need to make sure that this is added to the page now. There's two ways you can create new actions, uh, either using add rows button here or just entering the name and it's going to add a new row for you. can use the resource assigning wizard from here to assign resources to an action. So right now I am the action owner for the action design wireframes and I can choose to update it directly from here or uh, add contributors to this action or I can use um, the search filters from here and then uh, add in resources. So the search filters allow you to filter based on teams, skills, skill proficiency, um, So I'm going to need Mick, Dragon, Dragon over here. We can create checklist items for it using the uh, checklist item uh, over here. There are a lot more fields that you can update uh, based on your requirement. But for now, I'll add in all the details that I need to. So I can just click save from here. It'll take me back to the project overview page. And if I expand on all of these milestones, we just see those uh, actions popping through and those checklist items that we created as well. So now let's go on to the create you know, milestones page and add in some more details for the milestones. Again, just make sure that this button has been added to the page now. To see existing milestones uh, that you have uh, created, uh, you can you just need to make sure this toggle is on. And now 
I'm going to add in an owner for these modules. That's going to be Now we've got those milestone owners, those action owners, actions, checklist items, uh, all of those details filled in along with the dates, the hours scheduled uh, for each of those actions. And for one of them, we have added in uh, contributors using the resource assignment wizard. And then you can go on to work on this project, uh, add time logs, and then go on to invoicing. So that concludes the how-to video on launching a new project in Engine Control. If you have any questions, you can reach out to us via support tickets, also the email mentioned here. Uh, we have a lot of resources that you can uh, take advantage of, like our very detailed user guide. Uh, we have a lot of training videos on our website. Uh, we have a searchable knowledge base as well as a learning portal. Uh, that's all for today, and have a good day.